Welcome back to PCS Adventures Lab. Today we're going to talk about the light sensor for your RIQ robot. The light sensor uses a photodiode to be able to sense the amount of ambient light in the environment and using that light it creates a current or voltage which relays a numerical value to the brain about how bright the room is. So let's start by connecting our light sensor to our RIQ. Using your regular sensor cables, we can connect the light sensor into the sensor port. Here we have it connected to sensor port zero. And then we'll plug it into our light sensor. There's two ports on your light sensor. You can use either one of those. They each work the same. So now we have it attached. We will go ahead and connect our light sensor to our RIQ. And just like that, we're able to start programming it. All right, let's go ahead and program our light sensor so that when there's a bright light, our RIQ spins in circles and otherwise it remains stationary. To begin with, we're gonna call motor A and set it to go this way. And motor B, we'll set to go that way. Now anytime those two motors are called on at the exact or at the same time the RIQ will spin in circles now let's create a loop so that we can constantly check the numerical value read by the light sensor we are going to use an if else statement and a conditional statement to compare the value read by our light sensor to some number. So we need to grab a sensor and put it into our conditional statement here. Make sure that you choose the correct sensor that you correct sensor port you're using. We're using sensor zero, so we're okay. And here you can change the conditionals. Um, we're going to change it so that it says if sensor zero is greater than greater than some number some code will happen so let's grab a number numerical value we'll put it into our conditional statement and we're going to use 900 that's a fairly bright um, value but that should work for our purposes so now if we are brighter than 900, we want our RAQ to spin in circles. So what we'll do here on the if part of our statement is we'll set motors A and B on. Now, if our sensor value is less than 900, we want our RAQ to remain stationary, so we will put motor A, B off in the else part of our if else statement. Then by attaching our end here, our program is complete. So if we read through our program one more time, we set motor A and B to go this way and that way respectively. Then and within a loop, our sensor is constantly um, updating and if our value is greater than 900 at any point, the motors A and B will turn on, resulting in our RIQ spinning. Otherwise, our RIQ will remain stationary with motors A and B off. Alrighty, now we are programmed using our light sensor so that when there is enough ambient light, our RIQ will start spinning in circles, and while there's not enough light, if he's in the dark, he's just gonna sit still. Let's try flashing the lights on and off and see if he responds. Alrighty, there we go.